two Gatorade bottles. Yeah. The crawfish smell it, kind of walk right into the trap. Oh my gosh. What's up, Raw fam? So we have a Gatorade bottle right here, and we're actually gonna be turning this into a crawfish fish trap to feed my epic Jaws army and my epic bass named Jaws. So we have this beautiful little thing, whoa, sorry. <laughs> we have this epic little, you know, plastic bottle, something like that, and we're gonna be placing this fish trap inside of these weeds right here. As you guys can see, we have a bunch of epic little marsh right here, and this marsh is essential for crawfish, guys, and I mean, when you know, when I say crawfish, I mean there's hundreds of thousands of baby little crawfish from this big to this big, you know, right here. You know, they're inside of these little, you know, this little grass and stuff. And hold up, let me show you guys this. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come um, here. As you guys can see, I have a, a little baby net, and I brought this net just to show you guys um, the reason why the crawfish are actually inside of all of this little um, this little marsh. So come, come, let me just show you guys. So as you guys can see, um, let me just go right here. Let's see, is this marsh right here good? Okay, let me see if I can get a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I just kind of scraped the bottom real quick. Let's see what's in here. It's good because you could actually scrape the bottom and look. Now, if I don't have anything right here, do I have anything? No, not really. Just a couple baby, baby minnows. Hold on, let me see if I can get There we go. Okay, so inside of all of this little bit of marsh, as you guys can see, um, this is kind of like the stuff that these crawfish love to actually live in. So as you can see, I have like a small baby little snail um, that would probably get eaten by a crawfish. As you guys can see, you know, I'm just picking through this stuff. Oh, sorry. Um, and as you guys can see, um, we have like a little, oh, we got two fish. So we have this little baby, um, this is a Mayan cichlid right here. Um, you know, cute little guy. Um, we could actually come here. <laughs> We're going to release this little guy. I don't really need him. Oh, there he goes. And then, if you guys look down here, believe it or not, we got a baby little bluegill um, native to South Florida. So, come here. Let me see if I can release this little guy. Ugh. Goodbye, little buddy. Goodbye, little buddy. Have a good life, bro. And that is just one of the many fish that we have over here in South Florida. Oh, oh, there goes another one. So of course, we just got those beautiful little fishies inside the net. You guys saw me actually, you know, net the water. Um, and you know, there's actually millions of little fishies in this grass, and that's why there's millions of little crawfish. And guys, if you guys didn't know, we can't go off and get crawfish um, if, if we don't make a crawfish trap. You know, that's just, you know, basics, basics, basics. So let's make the crawfish trap right now. And of course, um, catch some crawfish, so. Let's do it. So the tools you guys are going to need to make these two epic fish traps or crawfish fish traps um, are actually right here. Um, we're gonna have two Gatorade bottles, uh, a pair of pliers, um, some chicken cutlet or something like that, five bucks at Publix, Walmart, anywhere you shop, some, some hooks, um, some, some cichlid gold sinking pellets, um, make sure that they're sinking pellets and obviously a razor blade to cut stuff. So put it right there. Um, let's go like that Ugh. and uh, yeah guys come here come sit down with uh, with Uncle Franklin and let me guys let me uh yeah let me show you guys how to make a fish trap <laughs> So you guys want to learn how to make a fish trap or a crawfish fish trap. If you guys look right here, this is my beautiful little Gatorade bottle and I'm actually going to be cutting off the top right now. So I have a little razor blade right here and we're actually going to cut the top right there. Guys, be careful, please. Bam, bam. Yeah. Ugh. Just kind of cut that open. There you go. Ah. There we go. All right, perfect. So that is going to be like the base of our little trap. This is actually going to be the little column right in there where the crawfish actually, you know, kind of go into. Um, and that's, you know, basically essential. That is essential 
you know, for these beautiful little crayfish um, to actually be able to go in. If not, if there's no little um, chamber for the, the fish to get caught in, you're, you're not gonna catch any fish. Um, it's point blank simple. Um, so let's go like this. So how is this gonna work? We go like this. Um, you wanna make it a little bit bigger, so let's cut it right here. So you're actually gonna take off the little lid right there. We do not need it. Hey, what's up, Raw fam? Hey. I see you. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. <laughs> so one of the most important things that you're going to have to remember whenever you're making this crawfish trap is that you have to get the, the lid where um, where you put your bait at um, and connect it to the body. So if you look right here, I have a couple of little hooks. Um, that is a little um, peacock bass hook um, for, live bait, for live baiting. All right. So basically, you're just going to take that little hook and hook it into your trap or into into your lid and then just hook it right here all right perfect and then shove this thing in okay so hold on i'll give you guys a good look so basically you're just going to take the hooks and hook it to the top you're going to take the top and put it in there and then hook it with your beautiful little hooks two of them and then that trap is not going anywhere and basically you put your bait inside of here the crawfish smell it and then they you know they kind of walk right into the trap. And then you have your beautiful little crawfish in here. I'm gonna make another one of these and then we're gonna be able to start catching some beautiful little crawfish, so let's do that. All right guys, so this is gonna be a little sped up version of me showing you guys how I make this, so. So you got, you got one hook, two hook, take one hook, put it through here, take the other hook, put it right in there. Then just push this in, just like that. Hold it there, grab your other hook. Perfect, just like that, then rearrange it. And then there you go, that's your little crawfish trap right there. Get your little bit of Gatorade out of there. There you go. Now you guys have two epic little crawfish traps. Now they're ready to catch some crawfish. Let's do it. So as you guys can see, I went off, I got some, you know, a little bit of Publix chicken. And if you guys come down here, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys could actually bait your own little traps. You guys are gonna just, you know, take the chicken, um, just open it up right here. Um, nothing too special. Just open, peel back the chicken, okay? And you wanna make very small slithers. Um, just like that. That's like a perfect little fatty tissue right there. Put that right there. Um, go like that. Get like a bunch of just like small mashed up pieces. Um, and if you have to, just mash it up with your fingers. Um, so those juices go flying everywhere. And just get like a lot of that fat out of there. Because the fat's like the best part um, for these little... There you go. Just like that. We have a little bit of mashed up... Um, you know sludge nasty chicken I mean not nasty but you know um, and you're just gonna basically just put it in there um, little by little it's gonna stick um, that's because it's raw chicken but just kind of you know push it in there believe it or not these crawfish absolutely love these things um, so we're just gonna take a little bit of this if you can see right here just take a little bit of that okay and we're actually gonna put it inside of our finished trap but you guys ready for this? Uh, you're gonna take this little bit of chicken, okay? And you're gonna make a flat little patty, okay? Then take a couple of them and then ball it up, okay? 
those little pellets have so much stink in them that it's going to basically make like a chum line, okay? And then just kind of just plop it in there, okay? And you want to get sinking pellets so then the pellets, um, they don't float out of the trap, okay? And then you could just take a couple um, spare little pellets, um, nothing too crazy. There you go. And then that is a fully 100% baited trap right there. And it's almost like guaranteed to catch crawfish. I mean, it's just so epic, it's so sick. And guys, raw fam, you know, that's one trap, okay? We're gonna be baiting two traps today and we're gonna see which one does better. All right, raw fam, so this one right here has the cichlid sinking pellets in it, but this one right here doesn't, okay? So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna still mash up our chicken uh, but we're not going to put any sinking pellets in there. So as you guys can see, just mash up the little chicken. Um, and we're still going to just plop it in there. I'm going to put a little bit more chicken in this one. Um, for whatever reason. There you go. Um, there you go. And we're going to try two different areas. So we're, we'll put one like thick in the leaves. And then we'll put one like right there. Um, yeah, so there you go. We'll take that whole big thick piece of nasty little chicken. Look in there. Ugh, there's like chicken on the outer rim and that's you, you really don't want that because then they might eat that instead of going inside of the trap So as you guys can hear Ew, that's disgusting <laughs> and that is our chicken trap right here um, That is pure white meat inside of the trap and of course guys We are doing this for jaws guys. There's a pole right there guys Which one do you guys think is gonna work better the chicken and cichlid pellet mixture or just the regular you know, chicken inside of a little bottle, of course, Raw Fam. Guys, click the poll right now or forever hold your peace. So we're gonna go put this stuff in the water. Um, and guys, where do you guys think we should put it? If you guys come here, um, I think that we should put it like legit in the weeds. Cause I mean, if you guys really think about it, you know, that is where the crawfish are. So, I mean, I think we should put, what, oh my God, look at all of the minnows, bro. Do you see all the, bro, there's like 300 to 500 little minnows, little cichlids. If you guys zoom out real quick. Oh, I have the perfect spot. So if you guys look right there, you see the little bear spot right there? Um, it looks like there's like a nest of some sort. And believe it or not, whenever fish have eggs, um, the, the crawfish will go over there and they will try and eat the eggs um, sometimes along with like the bluegills and the cichlids and stuff. So um, we will throw the better trap on the nest. So this one's going right here. Okay, we'll put that guy right there. And we'll put the other one, um, I guess right here where all these little baits are and stuff. Um, and, and maybe we might even be able to like, you know, like come over here and peek over. Um, so real quick, um, we're gonna have to get a couple rocks um, so then the traps don't float. Uh, but other than that, I think we're ready uh, to catch some epic crawfish, so let's do it. This looks like the perfect little rock for this trap. Oh, exactly like I said. So we're gonna put this one like right there in the weeds, I think. So, you ready? Oh, I think that one's gonna do better. That little, uh, that little trap is literally in like the perfect little location. And there's just like this tiniest of tiniest of tiniest little holes um, that the fish, you know, they can't do anything. So. Perfect raw fam, let's do it. Um, we're gonna give that a 15 minute timer, okay? Um, on my phone, hold up, my hands are really wet. All right, raw fam, so we're gonna be giving it a one hour timer. As you guys can see, the timer has just started and we are going to be waiting um, a very long time, um, but hopefully um, this will maximize our chances of catching a bunch of epic crayfish. So it's time to wait, let's do it. How much time do we have left? Oh my God, why did you ask? Come here. We got 44 minutes and 40 seconds right there. If you guys wanna zoom out. Um, whoever says that we didn't give this enough time, come here, come here, come here, let me just tell you this. Whoever says that we did not give this enough time, um, I'll let you guys know whenever we're at 30 minutes or, you know what, screw it. I'll, I'll let you guys know when we're at 20 minutes and yeah, so let's do it. How much time do we have now? Forever! This is gonna take forever. Oh, not that bad, come here. So we're at 19 minutes and 36 seconds. The water is 
beautiful now. It is nice and cleared up. Um, this is gonna freaking still take uh, another 20 minutes, but I got nothing but time, and it's probably very black because the sun's over there. So let's do this. Hey, what's up, bro? Fam? You guys can see me again. <laughs> so we got 19 minutes and 13 seconds. Um, yeah, so guys, it is coming down to the wire. Guys, do you guys think, yet again, this trap right here with the beautiful little sinking pellets is gonna work, or over there, the little trap where, what did we have in there? Just raw chicken, yeah. Shredded up raw chicken, guys. I'm sorry, guys, I kinda forget. It's been almost an hour um, since we made those traps, so. And guys, remember, whenever you guys set your traps, make sure you guys receive them, or else it's littering. So, um, yeah, let's wait. We're about to wrap this up. Let you guys know when we're down to five minutes. We got a whole lot of minnows over in that trap. We got a whole bunch of minnows. And then over here, oh yeah. We got a bunch, it's down there somewhere. I promise guys, it's down there. All right, Raw fam, so I'm actually super excited. I went over to that trap and just, you know, using my eyes, my vision, I saw like, a hundred little minnows inside of the trap. We got four minutes and 30 seconds left on the timer. I got my bucket ready. I'll let you guys know so we can do the 30 second countdown just like New Year's Eve. So let's do it. <laughs> Come here. So as you guys can see, 50 seconds. Guys, I'm actually really excited, guys. Let's be real, guys. I've never really, come here, come here, come here. I've never really invested, you know, this much time into a fish trap. I always kind of just like leave. Um, like I'll just, for whatever reason, I'll just like leave and come back like two hours later. Um, but like I've actually sat here for the whole hour. I'm very excited, guys. We're at 30 seconds now. Um, 28, 27, 26, 25. Guys, should we do like the countdown, guys? This is gonna be so sick. Uh, 20, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! There we go, Rolf fam. So that is us. You know, we waited the full time, and now it is time to collect. Our, our prize. So let me take my keys, my Florida Gator keys out of my wallet. Everybody, I know you guys always say, UF, heck yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, since Tebow was there, so no longer a bandwagon. I was a bandwagon when I first um, joined the team, but now <laughs> I'm a true UF fan. So, you ready? Come on, Rolf fam. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water in here, right there. Actually, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. You guys ready? Come on. You guys want to, you want me to take you guys over there? Hey, what's up, Rolf fam? So as you guys can see, I'm gonna grab, oh my gosh. Look at all of the minnows. Oh, oh my gosh. Bro, this thing, bro, bro, they're literally destroying the pellets. Bro, the pellets were a horrible idea. Bro, they are going crazy. Look at that, bro. Dylan, you see that, bro? Crazy. <laughs> so, oh, bro, they're literally diving. Wait, watch out, watch out, because there's like the, the sun. Guys, look at that. Look at that. Wait, could you come grab the camera, Bubba? How many minnows did we get? This is like the worst idea ever, but now we know exactly where to go make minnow traps at. All right, you ready? Watch this. There they go. Oh my gosh, bro, that is an abundance of minnows. What the heck? Yo, Raw fam, guys, like, hold on, let me get that low guy. Guys, let's be honest and real. I should not have put those little sinking pellets. Where are they? Oh, right here, come here. I should not have put these inside of the trap because all it did was just scare the the crayfish away because imagine this okay imagine just a bunch of energy you know eating a bunch of these you know it's just gonna probably scare anything else away it, it's like piranhas swarming 
um, like little baits. Like if you were a fish and you saw a bunch of piranhas, would you run or would you go, hey, I wanna go join the piranhas? No, they're gonna eat you. Um, just like those little minnows ate these things and they were like, wom, wom, wom. All right, Raw fam, so this is, I guess, the best minnow bait around. Guys, we've, we're not here to catch minnows, but good thing is um, we do have the Jaws Army to feed. Um, that is definitely a thing, so we could put all these little minnows inside of there. Come here, let's look at these guys. Hi guys, what's up Raw fam? Yo, they absolutely shredded. Oh my gosh, they shredded the chicken too. Look at that, like a, a mashed up ball of between chicken. And you know why they shredded up the chicken? You guys know why? Because I made a ball of chicken and I put all of the little pellets inside the middle so they had to shred it up in order to get to the pellets. So, raw fam, that was pretty sick. So take this, little chicken, you know, always give back to the earth, mother nature, feed my babies because we did catch a couple fish and we are taking them. So, hi babies. Look at them, bro, we got some good minnows, bro. Look at that thing. That is like a Jaws candy. This girl's pregnant too. Oh, there we go. One fell. Wait, where'd he go? Hey, buddy, come here. Hey, come back. Okay, I got him. He's right here. So, okay, guys, without further ado, follow me, guys. So now it is finally time to go off and check the second trap. Trap number two. Numero uno dos. Numero dos. I'm sorry, I don't know Spanish. Come on. So as you guys can see, um, the trap is, I think, right here somewhere. Oh, you want me to bring you guys with you? My, my bad, Rolf. Hey, Mr. Plane, go away, please. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's. Oh, this one didn't work, bro. This one's black. Ugh. Dang it. Here you go, bro. So, uh, I doubt there's anything in here. Um, this is a nasty black. Oh my God, bro. There's crayfish, there's there's freaking crayfish. Bro, there's an endless amount of crayfish. Look, one, two, three, four. Oh, Dylan, Dude, give me some, bro, what the heck? What the heck? Oh my gosh, let's, let's open this guy up. Let's open it up. What the heck, bro, I, raw fam. I did not think there was gonna be anything in here. Look how black it is. Oh my, and you know what it was? We took this and we literally put it in the dirt, in the in the marsh, in the nasty, thick stuff, down deep inside of there. Guys, come here, come here, come here. Let me show you guys this. So, um, ah, let me open this up. Oh, geez. Okay, here we go, guys, you ready? I'm gonna pour it in. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of some of this nasty water. I'll put my hand here just in case. Okay, so there's some chicken, some shredded up chicken. Here's some more chicken. Oh my gosh. Look at him, Brad. Oh my gosh. Look, ow, ow. Jeez, stop it. Jeez. Oh my God, they're pinching the heck out of me. Look at him, this guy's like right here. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. And this is a beautiful wild crayfish. Just a little baby. Oh, we have more, guys. Look inside here. Guys, we have so much more. You ready? I'm gonna put this guy in the water. Hi, buddy. Okay, here we go. We got some more shredded chicken. We got some more shredded chicken right here. And we got our rock. Oh my gosh. Guys, look how good this trap did. Oh my gosh. Guys, look how big these guys are. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay, Raw Fam. So, guys, this is definitely a six. Whoa. Raw Fam, guys, this is definitely a success. So, all of you guys that went off and voted for the pellets to work. You took an L, a fat L, a number L, because <laughs> you guys just put the L on your, for, on your forehead and do the Fortnite dance, because I know every one of you guys knows exactly what I'm talking about. Guys, um, so basically, the pellets did not work um, because all of the minnows went in there, but just the 100% regular chicken worked 100% awesome. Look at this, guys. Look at this, you ready? Hi, babies, what's up? Guys, is that not a good day of fishing or what? Jeez, oh, Pete's Raw Fam. So, guys, that is so sick, so amazing, so cool, so fun, and so crazy. I love you, Raw Fam. You know, that is the completed trap. Oh, make sure you guys pick up your garbage when you guys are done using or done um, 
filming if you guys want to make videos about this stuff. Um, and, and you know, when you guys are done making your fish traps, please guys pick up. Um, this is Mother Nature. We just took a bunch of food from the environment. The least you could do is not pollute it. I love you all, fam. That was so sick. My camera guy, give me some, bro. Bro, did uh, uh, Dylan? You could you could hear from the from the. Did, was it? Did it work? Was it cool? You got, they can't see you nodding. You got to talk. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. It was, it was pretty sweet. Hey guys, sorry he's a little shy, but um, very cool, very exciting. And raw fam, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, guys. <laughs> I did not think that was gonna work that good. I love you all, fam. Let's get the heck out of here and go feed my beautiful little babies. And grab this little guy. Oh, grab. Come here. I got this little guy and a beautiful little run. There we go. There you go. Put this right here. Hello, Mr. Crayfish. It is now your time to get sacrificed to Jaws. Come on, Jaws. Come on. Let's go, Jaws. Right here, buddy. Oh, that's yours, Jaws. Go get him. Wait till the other bass sees him, too. He doesn't really know what it is. I'm not gonna lie, Rolf, fam. Um, it's like really hard for him to realize that it's a crayfish because they're so small. Usually he's used to ones like that big. Um, but if I take a couple, let me see, you ready? Let me go like put this in his face, come on. Oh, jeez! He's right here, he's right under you. Come here, come here. He's under you, bro, he's right here. Oh, there he goes. There, he sees it now. Oh, yummy, yummy. Yo, did you see that? 